Hey all together and very welcome ladies and gentlemen to the last, to the very last Heart of the Swarm crazy replay. This day on Cactus Valley cross position a TVP against someone I practice a lot, my TVT, my TVP, and he's so damn good. I wonder why he never was able to jump into Grandmaster League, but man, he definitely could. It is spawning in the right top position in purple playing for Kex It's Gimme! The Protoss. The Protoss forces. And he is playing against me, spawning in the left bottom position. It's the Blue Terran. Alex Usher! So that was a practice game against Gimmel because he is a very good Protoss player and that was the time where I tried to play Bio against Me uh, Protoss, where I was trying to learn Bio against Protoss and it's still the way to go, Bio against Protoss and Legacy of the Void. So yes, we will see Barrex, Gas. SCV for scouting and he's going for gateway and gas, no scout at all so far. Okay. Ah, yes, okay. So the SCV will sooner or later confirm that he is indeed cross position to me. Oh yeah, recheck. That's very important. And there's the Reaper on the way. And he's getting the call so far. So let's just follow the SCV a little bit while we are watching the conversation. And I don't know about the Doom Drops. Uh, Doom Drops can work. But throwing all your army into one place can be risky, very risky. So I'm not a fan of that, but sometimes it works. Sometimes it might work. Okay, so I scout and see there is a Nexus, the Reaper is on its way. Uh, second gas been taken, pile him back there just to make sure that the I guess the tech will be hidden right here. And that's okay. Reaper jumps in, scouts around if there is any pylon. Uh, because I know I need to know should check. Because I wanna know where he could throw down his tech to scout it later on. There we go. Now ah, for now I'm just hiding the Reaper. Very interesting. Very interesting. As you can see my command center is quite far behind and on a map that big, if I can confirm no aggression then I should go for an uh, earlier third. Getting a probe is nice, but not the biggest deal here, but it's nice, I mean, you feel good if your reaper doesn't only scout, but also get one or even two drones, or probes, or SEVs, it just feels, yes, I've done damage, the reaper is, was worth it's investment. If it's getting nothing done, then it's like, eh, I played bad. I have a bad start. That's how I feel with the Reaper. And oh, look at that. No three racks opening, but Widowmine drops. Hmm, very interesting. Very interesting. And we get Blink for Gimme. Look at that sneaky Reaper. Getting two kills. Ah, nice. Good reaction there. Good reaction. I would have loved to get to get this probe, but seeing Blink at two probes in total, I guess that's fine. Yeah, it's okay. And there's the robotics facility. Rocks getting killed. Or oh, yeah, rocks, rocks or plates.
Uh, there we can see the... Oh, there's a drop. Will I move out with the marines as well? Because that is, yes, that is what I was used to a lot. Drop at one place, move in with the marines at the other place, deal damage, GG. Sometimes this drop and this attack won me the game. Sometimes. Not very often, but it happened. There was one game where I was able to kill a Nexus with that. Don't ask me how that worked. I don't know. Um, or just straight up win because the Widow Mines and the Marines dealt so much damage. But with 4 Stalker and the Mothership Core, he should be fine. Good reaction. Photon Overcharge kills one. Oh, but the probe's moving into the Marines. Ah, oh, nice save. The Widow Mine dealt no damage. And yeah, with the Overcharge, now he's safe there. We got the robotics, so the, overs the, the observer is out. Um, yeah, he should not lose anything to the widow mine here. Okay, he will clear it. Yeah. So close before it could shoot again. And behind that, we can see bio on the way. Medivex as well. The gas taken up. Oh, look at that. That's the mistake. This gas. I needed that gas for the Medivex. But I'm going instead for a very early third base. I see there is nothing. And I feel good, I guess. It's a bit greedy. At the 9 minute mark, 9.30. It's a bit greedy. Uh, but they should be fine. And here we see additional barracks with tech lab stand for the marauder going marauder heavy against protoss in heart of the swarm is worth it uh, now let's see the colossus i want to see the colossus and its damage because it was said that the colossus got a nerf compared to legacy of the void and i don't know what nerf that is so I don't see any nerf. What are they talking about? The Colossus didn't get any nerf. Did it? I mean damage is 15. Maybe with the upgrades, but I don't know. Because in Legacy of the Void the damage is also 15. Yeah, it's really strange. I don't know what they are talking about, but... That's not looking legit. I mean, range is 9, weapon speed seems to be the same, damage is 15, twice. Uh, look, yeah. It's the same in Legacy. I don't see the Colossus being nerfed. Maybe it was in the beta and they reverted it for the final game? Oh, nice kill there. Uh, but, pff, I don't know. So the income is looking very good for me. Uh, the APM are looking not too good for me. And yeah, let's see. Uh, two Colossus out. I need a second starport, which is in the production as well. Uh, get the upgrades is nice. Vikings. How many Medivacs are there? Five. That's good. Five Medivacs is good. Unfortunately, uh, he sees my whole army sitting there doing nothing. That's not good. I should scan this. That's that's one thing I'm still lacking. Seeing the observer and scan and kill them. Because you can see it. Uh, if I have somewhere... Yeah, you can see it. It's difficult, but you can see it. Some pros do that trick here. To see the observer. But, yeah, it's... it's it's difficult for me. And there we go. So what happened here was... Initially, I just yoloed my whole army the ramp down and died. Bad. And I wanted to retry this from this point of... Because... I had a plan that I could just 
drop right here everything, push him up here to the main base and then go bow down to the third base, or yeah, spread him and then hit with everything on a smaller fo force. Uh, let's see how that works out. I should take a fourth base, there we go. Unfortunately two medivacs are not with the army. I wonder where they are. Down there, that's not good. So, there we go. And this is, uh, I don't know, photon overcharge. A lot of army, we got Blink Stalker. But at the same time I'm attacking here. Mm, I don't get the Colossus, do I? Yes, I get it. But I have to kite back here. All the Stalker in the main base, so that means the, co the Colossus get killed here from the Vikings. Uh, that could be good. Will I get one more? Yes, nice. So overall, even though I lost a lot, getting the Colossus reset is... Eh, it wasn't good, no. Not at all. Not really. Uh, no. That's the problem. Trading cost efficient with bio. It's possible, but you need to know how. And I just didn't know to that at that time. And also, Gimme is playing really good. Very defensively, very good. So here's another army force, still 5 medivacs, which is 6 medivacs now, 7, that's okay. There's the second or the third starboard, no the second one. Yeah. Ghost Academy and additional barracks. I'm still trying to hit the third base, where all his army is, but moving into the main base would be very much better, I guess. But we will see. Uh, did he see the move out? No, he sees just now the Vikings and knows <laughs> that something is coming. Oh, the drop. Yeah, he is ready for that. Uh, I go in and I go out again. Oh, blinking. Oh, nice. Gets one medivac. And I can't drop down there because there's also a lot of army. The only good thing is, he still didn't get a fourth base. I could drop into the natural. So that, that's a problem I have currently. I'm not... Yeah, I don't know how to check for ops. And I'm not hitting at three locations at the same time. Two locations, Toss can defend. Three locations, that's where it's getting really difficult for problems. Normally. But yeah, it's possible. And he's playing still defensively. Very equal everything here. Mm, the upgrade's a bit better for me. He's getting Storm. And I should get Ghosts out soon. I got the Ghost Academy. A long time ago, but I'm not producing any Ghosts. And even though he's not going for High Templar yet. Just now. Warping in some of them. Having ghosts, not like 10 or 20, but 3 to 4 is massive in a big engagement because EMP is such a good spell. And here we try to go for the. <laughs> for the Doom Drop, but yeah, he's safe. Deflect that. So, Gimme is a really good player here. Thank you so much for practicing with me. And yeah, kiting back a little bit. The upgrades 2 2 against 2 2 currently. And there we go, ghosts. And there are cannons, high templars, zealots. That's really good. And there we go, big engagement, good force fields. Most of my army not fighting. I got a lot of Vikings, but no focus fire. Still, a lot of Colossus are dying here. Uh, will I get. No, not enough. There's still a lot of. Uh, boost away! Woo! Yeah, three Colossus remain. That's good. That's, that's really good for him. I guess he traded very good there. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how bad I'm playing. Oh yeah. I'm not on point. I guess I was hungry and disappointed of myself at the same time when I played this game. The problem I have is it looks so easy. If you're watching a pro player playing this game, it looks like, yeah, they do this and that. GG, win. Easy. I mean, if you watch, 
Innovation vs. Death, WCS, Global Finals, BlizzCon. <laughs> Innovation Shrek says, and it was like, what? How can this be so easy? How, and how can I have that many problems against Protoss? It just feels unfair, but hey, that's, that's the game sometimes. But still, I'm not out yet. I can still win. And the upgrades are soon 3-3 three, three against 3-3. Three, three. He's checking for bases. I like that. Look at the overmints he got. So many warpens. Possible. I mean, he could throw down a lot more gates. He's getting a second robotics and I like that a lot. Mm, but so far it's a very inactive game. Ooh, I tried to drop right where the army is. Oh no! Wah! Oh, that was expensive. So, I got a pylon. <laughs> That's also nice, but yeah. It looks like I'm not able to find any opening against his army. I have to say, most of his... Oh, look at that. Cannons, he's playing so defensive. But it's working. It's it's really working. The only weak point he got is like the natural, I guess. But it's so cornered in between those bases that it's safe again. So yeah. So I try to poke and make something happen, but it's so difficult. Uh, we have nine Vikings against four Colossi. That's not good. Uh, I should have at least twelve. With good upgrades. Uh, there we go. Big attack on the third base and he splits his army very good good storms as well and oh that's the position of my army is also quite bad I'm just trading against buildings look at the supply look at the unit last tap not really good not at all and he's max he could move out across um, soon and there's the mothership core still there recall available Ooh, I might lose this army, no many decks with all of that. All those ghosts, where are the MPs? There are the MPs. No cloak researched yet. So, I killed the Colossus, but I lost a lot here. <laughs> Look at that! Ah, I'm playing so bad, oh god. I'm getting more ghost academies, uh, most likely for nukes. And I think that's because I saw Polt and 4GG playing with them sometimes. And it works, it can work. Nukes can work. They are nice, I like nukes. Okay, so this small force can deal a lot of damage, but the cannons uh, are buying enough time here. This probe went down, but yeah, he gets it. He totally gets it. Look, he's, he's playing like against Zerg, I have the feeling, with the being defensive, getting cannons, play safe. And it's working against Turn as well, at least against me. And he never used F2 so far, because this army is still here. Nice. I would love to have an F2 counter. Like, uh, if you select all your army, after the game, it says, yep, you selected all your army... 20 times in the game. And this game was like 5 minutes long, congrats, you're a noob. Something like that. For me it would be interesting, because normally you don't wanna use F2 too often. For reasons, I mean, this unit, those units would move across the map which you don't want. You would lose the watchtower, stuff like that. All the observer you spread out. Uh, but there we go. How many ghosts are there? Uh, 8 ghosts against 11 High Templar, that's good. Big EMP, hits there. Ah, uh, but very good force fields. But I cancelled the 5th space. That's not too bad. 11 Vikings against 5 Colossus, that's not good for me as well. Need more Vikings. You should definitely kill those units, yeah. There's one ghost being left behind. I got two nukes, third one on the way. I got Cloak. Oh, oh, my arm is so clumped. Oh no. Ah, he's not attack moving. The ghosts get killed. All of them. That's very bad. 
But he loses a lot of Colossus in the process as well in this fight. Mm, the splits are okay, I would say. Here comes the High Templar. Uh, storms might hit. Nukes are coming down. Uh, but he clears it. I should save the Medivax. Oh, he's not reacting. Oh my god. <laughs> Blasted into hell. Oh yeah. Those were three nukes, right? Nice. That was awesome. Oh, wait. Here we go. Oh, nice. I love it. I really love it. It is funny, even pros don't know that if the nuke lands, it grants vision, so you don't need to scan. Don't scan to see your own nuke. You get the vision just by the nuke itself. When it comes down, it explodes. Don't scan. Uh, the ghosts getting killed by those salads. There is one observer. But look at the damage. The ghost deals good damage here, but it's not enough. Sell it is faster. I guess those nukes and the fight here brought me back into the game. But still, not looking too good. Not looking too good. Uh, High Templar. Two ghosts against 12 High Templar. Oh my goodness. And 25 sellers. I need more ghosts. Luckily for me, I got the income. Oh yeah, I got the income. 82 SCVs. Holy moly, that's a lot of SCVs. I got the income. So on a large map, I guess I am okay playing TVP in all of this one, but look at all those cannons. Look at that. Ooh, a big drop, but he sees it. He sees it and he marches back. Uh, oh god, no, 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 High Templar feedback! Ah! What? What? That's very interesting, uh, but I guess this drop is not doing too good here. Oh, oh, but I could force him back. The whole oh, he loses the mothership core. That's massive. Uh, the warpen is good, but losing the robotics hurts a lot. Uh, losing the robotics bay as well. There's one facility down here, so he can rebuild the robotics bay. But the drop here uh, gets clean soon. So that's too powerful. Oh, that Viking. Are you kidding me? It will die. No, it survives. Wow. The Medivex left behind to get shrekt. Very interesting. And so far, not a whole lot more is happening. I'm taking bases. Ooh. Oh, wow. So many. So many gateways. Did I see that? I could have seen it, but I doubt I, I clicked it. So with that, ooh, there are ghosts. Oh, look at that! Oh, ghosts. Oh. He doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. There are the observer. I tried to. Oh, I tried to snipe them. That was not a real smart choice here, I guess. And he's remaking them. He got three left. One there. One with his army, and one up there to the third base. Uh, three more ghosts on the way right here. Mm. Good storm, but carefully. Uh oh, 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 the snipes! Oh, the snipes! Oh, the snipes! Oh, the snipes were real, man. Oh no, more and more snipes. Ah, so he lost a lot there. Oh, nukes, 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 nukes! If I can pull the whole army in here. But he got an observer with this army. Oh no, he doesn't see it. Oh god. <gasps> he sees it now! Oh, so close! That would have been the awesome, most amazing move ever. But... It wasn't meant to be... He's taking another base down there. And uh, the Colossus count is quite high as... Uh, three Colossus is good. Unit lost her. Uh, <laughs> I'm so bad. Eight more goes to production. Just goes by some bitter mines. And I guess he wants to go for Tempest or Carrier, but he didn't get the. Oh, he can't produce, okay. 
And he didn't get uh, fleet beaten, so yeah. I got no medivacs at all. So every stim hurts me forever. Yep. Ooh, snipes are good. Ah, uh, there's this whole army. And the ghosts will get killed as well. Which is sad, but it's how it is. And give me a secu uh, securing another base there, so... Income wise, he's still on 50 probes, I guess that's a big mistake, he should be up to 66 at least. At least. Maybe even 70, but... Ah! Well... So many High Templar, 11 High Templar with this army, 3 ghosts! Oh look at that! <laughs> okay, so here we have the nukes. Ah, he sees the ghost, but he doesn't... Yeah, oh, that nuke was wasted. They are... what? Oh, two nukes were wasted there. That's bad. That's really bad. So this base is mined out. There's yeah, still one High Templar here. Very defensive play. Out of Gimme here. And me, of course, as well. I'm not going full YOLO modus. Or mode. Ah, the probe! Not triggering the video mine. This probe does trigger it. Oh, a double snipe. Ghost for a high Templar. That's uh, okay, but normally not what you want. Oh, more and more nukes. Uh, he got one feedback there, uh, so just one nuke is landing. The Vikings will finally clear all the Colossus. There's a nuke! Dealing some damage, but not amazing damage. Uh, all those High Templar men. Oh, those ghosts! He doesn't see it! Oh no! The snipes! Wow! Uh, yeah? Those snipes were quite good, I would say. Those snipes were really quite good. Ah, he clears those ghosts. I would love to show you how many ghosts died in that game, but with that overlay, no chance. And I can't switch it because it's an older version of StarCraft 2. Ooh. Oh no, he will lose those probes. And he's already down to 48. 10 more probes died there. A good nuke, I would say. Now he's going for carrier. But I guess he doesn't have the income for it. He got the gas, but not the minerals. He's producing more and more t turrets, uh, cannons. There's another ghost. Here, he sees it. Oh, and that attack. Oh, so many ghosts. Ah, uh, cloak them. Move them away. There's the nuke. Ooh, good MP. Very good MP. Snipe. And, ooh, oh. He doesn't really see it. He lost so many observer. He still has eight. But they are everywhere on the map, but not with his army. Oh, those ghosts are so trapped. It's not looking good. They might all die. Yep, they die. That's so sad. Oh, four can cloak in time. Uh, taking that base aggressively, going up here. Mining there, planetary everywhere. I mean, that is his main production. If I can somehow get into his main base and kill that everything there, then that would be very helpful. Uh, there was a feedback, I guess. At least it was the noise of that. Oh, killing all those Vikings, that's good. So I mean, peace here. But yeah. His army, look at the supply, he doesn't have the income he needs, not the minerals, I mean, the bank, the gas bank is nice, but he doesn't have the minerals. And he's trading as best as he can, he might win this fight, yes. But the income, look at that. That's not really too good here. Huh, I don't know what to say, I got so many ghosts. Oh wow, 14 ghosts, that's a lot, that, that's a lot. 
Zooming forward, killing the cannons. Definitely helpful. There are some ghosts moving up the ra No, just one here. Scanning, seeing everything. But I know he's going for carrier, so I produce a lot of Vikings now. Oh, that nuke. Oh, that nuke. And the problem is, being spread out like that, you need to search everywhere. You should just pull it. For God's sake, pull it! Oh! Being down. Oh. Uh, he doesn't see it. He knows it's there. Ah, kills it with the storm. Nice. Uh, this income. Looking so bad. I mean, he got the bases he needs, but not the probes to saturate them. Oh, big fight! The Archon should attack the Vikings, which they are doing now. Big splash damage, but with the storm, it's enough. Ah, oh, ghost reinforcement. Look at that. That's just too much here, I guess. But it's still very close. So many observer, but you go out with a GG. So that's it with Heart of the Swarm. I will switch to Legacy of the Void now. Um, yep, you might see some videos already, maybe a lot of them. I will play through the campaign on brutal mode. Maybe I'm through it when you see this video, could be. Uh, but yeah, I wanna upload that as well. So stay tuned, keep active, stay healthy. As always, always, always. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I wish you a very nice day and 